last lectures we have discussed the basic concept of automation what is the automation and what are the advantages and what why we are going for the automation today's lecture we will discuss types of the automation so let's start with the types of the automation now there are three basic types of automation first is a fixed automation second is a flexible automation and third one is a programmable automation now these three types are decided on the basis of the product quantity and the product variety so you can see this graph on the x axis there is a product quantity and on y axis there is a product variety if the product variety is low minimum and production quantity is also minimum that is both x and y axis are at minimum level then we are going for manual manufacturing so we are not going for the automation in case of low variety and low production quantity now we will take one by one if the production quantity is higher and the variety is lower so there is no such a variety or not there is no variety only one type of the production is there and the product quantity is the high that is the mass production then we are going for the fixed automation and reverse of that if the variety is at higher side and production quantity is at lower side then we are going for programmable automation and in between these two that is medium production variety and medium production quantity then we are going for the flexible automation so there are the three different types of automation fix flexible and programmable and depending upon the production quantity and the product variety we will choose the appropriate type of the automation for low variety high quantity go for the fixed automation for high variety low quantity go for the programmable automation and for mid variety mid quantity go for the flexible automation now we will discuss one by one these types of the aut automation the first one is a fixed automation now in the fixed automation is a system in which the sequence of processing of operation is fixed by the equipment configuration so the processing sequence is fixed by equipment configuration in fixed automation the operations in the sequence are usually simple so at each stage there is simple operation is performed and the part or the product is sent to the next station uh, there are typical features of this fixed automation initial investment is very very high so high initial investment for custom engineer equipment so there are the special purpose machines which are custom built for that particular operation only then high production rate we are getting very high production rate then relatively inflexible in accommodating product changes so if by chance there is a change in the product it is very difficult to accommodate the product change in fixed automation next justified for the product with high demand and high volume for example assembly lines and transfer lines so these are the examples of fixed automation next second is a programmable automation now we already discuss the programmable automation it is for high variety and low volume so in programmable automation the production equipment is based with the capability to change the sequence of operations to accommodate different product configurations so if there is a change or the frequent change in the design it can be accommodated easily in that case we are going to use a programmable operation uh, automation the operation sequence is controlled by the program now what is the program program means a set of instructions so depending upon the design we have received from the design department we will create a program and we will feed that program into the machine and 
according to that program the manufacturing process is carried out if there is a change in the operation sequence or any product design we have to change the program and we have to feed a new program into the machine and according to that the new manufacturing process will start initially investment or the high investment in general purpose machine so you can see the difference in fixed automations there is a special purpose machine and in programmable automation there are general purpose machines low production rate relative to the fixed automation flexibility to deal with the changes in product configurations and it is most suitable for the batch production changes in the physical setup is also required with every reprogramming so whenever there is a change in the manufacturing or the operation sequence you have to change the program and also change the physical setup to accommodate that change for example the early nc machines and the robots the last third is a flexible automation actually this flexible automation is an extension of the programmable automation a flexible automation system is one that is capable of producing a variety of the products or the parts with the virtually no time lost for change over from one product to the next there is no production time lost while reprogramming the system and altering the physical setup for example tooling fixturing and machine settings so there is no time is lost from changing one physical setup to the another physical setup but it has a high initial investment for custom engineered system also continuous production of variable mixtures of the product is possible it is used in medium production rate and flexibility to deal with the product design variations if there are frequent frequent change in the product design we are using this flexible automation so it is a combination or it is a compromise between the fixed automation and programmable automation so there are the different types of automation that is fixed automation programmable automation and flexible automation so i will just revise in which cases which type of automation is used so the automation strategy is depending upon the production quantity and product variety so these are the two different criteria to choose the correct automation strategy if production quantity is high and product variety is low go for fixed automation if product variety is high and production quantity is low go for programmable automation and if there is a mid variety and mid production quantity go for flexible automation hope all of you understand the types of the automation and in which situation which type of automation strategy is used thank you